Hey everyone and welcome to Blackthorn Prod. This is episode 6 of my Unity devlog, a series focused on the creation process of a local 2 player 2D top down shooter set in the mind, the fire of belief. It also happens to be the most exciting video yet of the series because it's here that I announce that you can go and delve into this world I've been creating these past two months. In other words, the game is ready to be played and receive feedback. The link to play is in the description and it can be enjoyed directly in your browser. No download required. Now I'm dying to hear your thoughts on the game. Once you've had a go at it, definitely leave me some feedback in the comment section down below. Tell me what you think of the difficulty, story, gameplay, mechanics, notify me of any bugs you may encounter, and also don't hesitate to share with me your thoughts on improving the game. Of course be very honest, structured criticism or expressed disappointment interests me as much as praise and approval. Just the gesture of playing the game and telling me your thoughts on it is truly appreciated. Now note that I have a lot more planned for this game. In the builds that you can now play, there are 5 stages, my end goal being 8, as well as secret stages. Of course, tell me if in your opinion, the creation is worth bringing to the next level, or if I should content myself with the current version and move on to new projects. So since the last episode, a lot has gone on. From a huge amount of difficulty balancing, to the implementation of sounds, new characters and more. Sadly, I had to pass on many awesome suggestions due to the fact that I really want to get your feedback first, instead of spending loads of time on details and extra features in a game that in fact isn't really enjoyed. So these past days have seen me add many small tweaks and features that reinforce all the elements that were already in place. Most importantly, sounds. Many hours were spent in front of the microphone making strange noises that I then edited in Audacity. Sounds were made for fire pickups, Whoa. enemy deaths, Black. button presses, players taking damage and also the four bosses. Each one of these monstrous foes has different phrases he can spit at you during the encounter. Words that go with the backstory and theme of the boss. For example, the Doubt Mother will often mutter, You, you equals equal nothing. nothing. You will you never, never be good, good enough. enough. I was also fortunate enough to find some very nice placeholder background musics on freesounds.org. Should I continue the project, I will change these musics, but for now, they fit really well with the atmosphere and vibe of the game. Once the sound's in place, I figured it was due time to make a tutorial level, teaching players the few simple rules needed to venture further in the mind. A scene with a brick of text explaining how to play was out of the question. Instead, I introduced the players to the fire of belief via a small, handcrafted level, which visually shows the controls, makes you understand that fire does not harm you but heals you, and gives you a small taste of combat. Talking about controls, I remembered that not everyone has an Azair keyboard, that many will probably own a QWERTY keyboard. So after a bit of C-sharp coding, I implemented a simple option in the main menu that lets players state what keyboard they are using, and modify the controls to match the keyboard. Apparently small details, but that are crucial for an enjoyable experience. I also wrote all the backstories for the foes and pets of the game. These descriptions were really fun to write and make the world feel more believable and cohesive. Of course, I'll let you discover all of that when you play the game. Lastly, I added this squishy slime enemy covered in eyes and also began work on this skull-like foe that would basically act like a little doubt with the exception of dealing 1000 damage to the player. Sounded fun but I ended up removing him because I felt it would be a little too punishing and confusing. With some new foes also came the implementation of a new mechanic in favour of the players. 
Basically, when fire is below 150, the screen gets bordered in orange flames and the players also turn a bright orange. A very visual warning that things are a little dodgy, but also giving the players some extra damage, helping them recover from their difficult situation. Lots of time was then spent trying to make the difficulty challenging but fair, something quite hard to achieve. What I've basically settled on is making the game just a little too easy for me, seeing that I've played many, many hours while making it, and as a result, I've gotten very good. What I hope is that players will get past the initial failures, get used to the controls and mechanics, and end up beating all four bosses. Again, I'm really excited to hear from you. Seeing that the project has grown quite large in scale, the largest game I've worked on so far anyway, I sometimes had trouble keeping bugs at bay. Many hours were spent debugging code, fixing weird UI, quirky colliders, and the list goes on. But all this is part of the learning process. I can assure you that when making a game, be it small or very ambitious, difficulties will arise, and the real challenge is to get past those difficult down points, to not give up on your creation. Many times during development, I doubted the fire of belief, which funnily enough is a game about doubt, but I pushed myself to keep working on it, and by doing so I am gaining the crucial skill of perseverance, which I believe is necessary to make something truly meaningful. So to wrap up this video, I want to thank in advance all those that will give me some feedback as well as to everyone that has supported me on this fire of belief journey. It's been an awesome project to work on. Hopefully it will find enough success that I'll continue to build on it. If not, this definitely won't be the end of my game creation journey, just the beginning of something new. With that said, I'll see you very soon. Have a great day. Cheers.